San Francisco, like a lot of other cities, has a problem with too many people panhandling on the streets. Now, the city has reason to believe that most of these actually aren't homeless, but are living on very little and likely supplementing their incomes via panhandling. The city, again like a lot of other cities, has an excess pet problem. As San Francisco works hard to find homes for all the animals that come into the shelter, but some are problematic. About 15% of dogs are considered unadoptable, usually because of behavioral problems due to poor socialization. The Bevan Duffy, Mayor Ed Lee's point person on homelessness, has devised a program to help both the panhandlers and the puppies. It's called Woof! <laughs> Wonderful Opportunities for Occupants and Fidos. And the way this is going to work is, first, of course, they're going to ask for applicants, and then after careful screening, Individuals that are accepted into the program will be given training sessions and as the program goes on they will also check in to make sure all's going well and to see if they need you know any additional training. Now for this they're going to receive fifty to seventy five dollars a week and they and their puppy will be provided with all the dog food, toys, leashes, and veterinary care they need. At the end of two to six weeks they can opt to adopt the animal they've cared for or return it to the shelter where it'll have a much better chance of adoption and then foster another dog. The program will start small. They have a grant from Vanessa Getty to get started and later they're going to seek more funding as it grows. And there's a good likelihood this will work. There have been other programs across the country that have shown that dogs and cats that have been socialized by people in prison have fared very well and so have the prisoners. I urge you to read the online article. Uh, links will be below where it profiles one man whose adoption of a dog has made all the difference in his life. Now he's not part of the program because he adopted his dog before the program started. But it shows the good that animals can do for us and the good that we can do for animals. Now while I was looking over the San Francisco Animal Care and Control site, I found Malus. Malus is a very special cat and a very lucky one. Malouse was rescued in Iran and flown to San Francisco for care due to the assistance of a lot of good people. Now, I should point out that I'm probably mangling that pronunciation, so I apologize to anyone of Persian descent. Now, I'm going to read this to you from the City and County of San Francisco Animal Care and Control website, and I'll leave the link below as well. Malouse, meaning very cute, lovable, and farsi, was found stuck to the pavement on the streets of Tehran soaked in gasoline and mud and covered with abscesses. He had been shot in the face and his deformed rear legs and spine left him unable to move. His rescuers facing challenges unheard of in this country took him in and saved his life but hoped that he could have a brighter future and more advanced medical care. After getting cleaned up, Malus was airlifted to the Bay Area where he has made San Francisco Animal Care and Control his temporary home. Malus has undergone numerous surgeries to improve his quality of life and is now fitted with a wheelchair that gives him mobility options. Despite having an infected rear leg removed in Iran, he is able to move about and is growing accustomed to his wheelchair. He has become a favorite of animal care and control staff and volunteers with his playful, spunky, and very congenial personality. Now, when Malus's story came out, a number of people wanted to adopt him. So the city held a lottery to see which of the qualified families would get to adopt him. And when you know it, an Iranian family, an Iranian-American family won the lottery. So Malus has now been adopted by this nice Iranian-American family and has a loving new home. Which I think is especially nice because I'm guessing that Malouf is more fluent in Farsi than he is in English. So there is some good news in the world. Well, good night, everyone, or whatever time it is for you. And thanks for watching. Also, I hope you enjoyed the puppies and the kitties.